Good morning and welcome to the vlog. It is the 1st of October as I'm filming this and it's time to start heading very gently back up towards the Midlands where I will have my winter mooring. So I'm going to just start ambling back and today also veer up the Wendover Arm, the entrance to which I went past when I came down. It's only a mile and a half, but I'll potter along to the end, turn around and come out again. I've got some special guests coming to join me in about a week or so. I'm not quite sure where and I'm not quite sure when, so I need to bear in mind that I'll need to pick them up and drop them off and more details on that in a future vlog. Anyway, enough teasing. Let's get on with cruising. It's a gorgeous day. The wind is quite chilly. But isn't it lovely? About 50 or 100 yards to the right of this bridge is Tring Railway Station, which is rather handily located. Should you wish to get to London or Birmingham, and you can just moor up here, as several boats do, hop on a train. Somewhat unbelievably, that hotel boat that was in front of me on the way down is now in front of me on the way back up. And they are going really slowly. I mean, I'm not in a hurry. This is canal time, but they're barely moving. I've even reduced my speed and I'm still catching them up. a useful sign. I tell you what, for all the sunshine I should have worn a balaclava today. This wind is arctic. I do appreciate that the Canal and River Trust have sent people out to strim the towpath banks but it is a great shame that all the grass cuttings just end up in the canal. Because they'll either turn to sediment and silt up the canals, or chunks of it will end up wrapped around the propeller. It's a shame they can't come up with some mechanism for strimming and scooping it at the same time. Just coming up to the turnover for the Wendover Arm and we have a viewer of the vlog give us a wave. What's your name? James, nice to meet you. I don't think I mentioned it when I came down the other way, but 
This place is called Bulborn Junction and this is a CRT yard, I think. The clue is probably in the number of CRT workboats. There on the left is the turn to the Wendover Arm. I shall try not to make a mess of going down the turn. Oh, this is quite pretty. I get the distinct impression nobody's come down here in a while. I doubt the camera is picking this up. The water is practically clear, which means it hasn't been stirred up much until I came along. I can pretty much see the bottom. See all the fishes swimming along, surprised that there's a boat coming along. And it does feel very shallow. This is exceptionally pleasant, but it is quite narrow, quite overgrown. I feel like some sort of canal pioneer going down this arm for the first time. But it is actually, I believe, a maintained section. And I'm very near the end now. I think I'm right in saying that is Tringford Pumping Station. And this was once a stop lock that I'm now passing through. the end here is proving to be quite a popular little spot. I can't really moor on this corner and I'm not convinced I'm going to find anywhere to stop so I could end up having to go right back to the top again. There's a lot of boats rather enjoying this quiet little end of the Wendover Arm. And that's the end of it. And this is the winding hole. So I'm going to have to turn around and go back. Ignoring everything I just said about not mooring here, I've taken an executive decision that I can squeeze in there with the other boat that was there behind me. And yes, I'm sort of in the winding hole, but this is actually the space where you turn. And I'm really not blocking it. After all, if someone can't go up that way, come back and turn there in this vast expanse of space, well then there's something very wrong with the world. So 
I'm going to stay there until someone tells me otherwise. Good morning. I have spent a very pleasant night here, right at the end of the Wendover Arm. It's amazingly quiet, just the cows mooing in the next door field. There was a gorgeous sunset last night. I could stay here for weeks, but I've got some friends coming to visit in a couple of days, so I need to put myself in a more accessible position because they'll be driving up from London. I'm not going to go far, I don't think, just down to Marsworth through a few locks and round a little bit further on, and there's a car park I think would work well for them. But we'll see how we get on. That'll be over the next couple of days. First thing to do is get back out of the Wendover Arm and then down the six or seven locks into Marsworth. Having untied the bow, the wind is gently pushing it helpfully away. So if I just wait long enough, I'll be pointing in the right direction. It might not look it, but I'm getting quite some push from the wind today. Just stopped to talk to a boater and my boat gently went sideways, nearly into two other moored boats. The trouble is when you have these open fields, you really get the wind sweeping down and trying to muck about with what you're doing. And being so slab-sided, the whole side of the boat acts like a sail and can easily push you the wrong way. I didn't hit anyone, so that's okay. This is supposedly a winding hole. It's a bit tight. Who can tell me what this place does? Answer in the comments, please. That's not having a good time of it, is it? Where the canal bends round to the left at the end there is where it rejoins the main Grand Union. So farewell, Wendover Arm. You have been short, shallow and splendid. And into the top lock we go. I'm going to be sharing with another boat, which is good. 72 footer.
one done. Knock two. And my travelling companion has nipped ahead to set the next lock while we gently descend in this one. Look at the size of that. That is your actual 72 footer. Another lock being dispatched in quick succession and a boat coming up waiting so next lock will be set and we can leave the gate open for him. It's all going swimmingly so far. Coming up to lock number six, it's really, really windy. It's becoming quite the pest. So I'm hopeful there'll be a space I can stop after this. Lock six done. I could do the seventh, but there's a space up there with my name written on it. So I'm going to stop here for lunch.